In this video, we are going to uh, learn uh, the theory behind the autoregressive uh, model in the time series analysis. Okay, so autoregressive uh, model, in short known as the AR model, is a type of model which depends on its past values. So the series YT depends on its past values. Okay, and uh, and a uh, error term. Okay, so the representation of the AR model or a AR series um, is like this. Okay, so Yt is the current value of the time series which is got uh, or which depends on its past values like Yt minus 1, Yt minus 2 uh, and so on um, up to Yt minus p. So there are, if there are p lags on which the current value of the time series depends on then there will be t uh, there will be p number of um, you know lags in the model okay and apart from that we also have the uh, error term okay so which is represented in uh, ut so ut is a white noise so what is a white noise white noise has basically a, a property of uh, uh, you know mean zero and standard deviation one uh, and there are also a couple of other properties so you can watch uh, the video on white noise to understand what a white noise process is. So a white uh, UT is a white noise process and then there are several um, uh, past values of YT on which uh, YT uh, depends on. Okay, so that's the representation or basic representation of a um, autoregressive model. So uh, we can use the summation operator to be uh, to you know write it in a more uh, you know uh, you know in a, in a very uh, mathematical form and easy to understand form. So yt is given by a constant. So constant can be zero many times. So you know sometimes we ignore the constant, but yeah, you can also put it. Uh, you can keep it. Uh, and then it's a summation of i equal to one to p, and then there is a parameter, and you have uh, the lags. Okay, and we do not know what exactly is the value of p. P could take one, uh, two, up to infinity. Okay, and we also have the uh, error term. We can also use the lag operator. I introduced the lag operator in the previous video where yt can be written as the constant plus uh, summation operator i equal to 1 to p, uh, theta i which is uh, the parameters and then using the lag operator we say l to the power i yt. So, you know, with changing of i your lag will change and that will be represented as y. Um, uh, you know the terms will be uh, yt minus 1, yt minus 2 and so on. So that's how we represent uh, the AR model using the lag operators. And uh, using the lag operators will help us you know uh, you know finding out some properties of this AR series or the AR model um, and we'll see in the next couple of slides why it's so important. One of the main important thing in AR model is the stationarity condition. We have talked about the stationarity condition in one of these video in this series. So you can watch that video to understand what stationarity condition is and what's the theory behind it and why it's so important. And that's very important. It matters a lot in the AR model. Uh, why so? One of the main reason for stationarity condition to uh, uh, you know being uh, so strict in AR series um, or in AR model uh, is that. Um, if it is a non-stationary series, then it will have a non-declining effect. Okay, so the previous values of yt, previous value of yt, which are like yt minus 1, yt minus 2, will have non-declining effect on yt. Right, and that is an undesirable property of a time series. Then you cannot model because you do not know that the previous values has uh, the effect of, uh, of, of the previous values of the time series are not declining over time. Right. So what ideally is expected is that uh, the correlation uh, with increase in uh, lags should actually decrease okay, and eventually it should go down. Right. So the impact of a time series should be highest for the first lag and then slowly it should diminish to zero. So that's, an, uh, that's one of the main assumptions in, in the uh, estimation of time series model. And in AR, uh, model in particular this condition is very important or very uh, or is one mandatory condition how do one test the stationarity in a, a, a arp series okay so stationary testing stationary uh, condition for a um, arp series 
so we can represent the ARP series like this. Okay, so this is the uh, theta operator, which is a function of L or it's a function of lags. We have seen it in previous video where we showed that how we can write in this way. So AR series also we can represent in this way. Theta, okay, theta of L, which is nothing but is a function of the lag operator. Okay, and then uh, um, we have the YT. Uh, and in the right side, right hand side, we have the error term. Okay, so what we essentially have done is uh, we have taken all the lags uh, to the uh, left hand side uh, and and you know use it as a function. So the entire uh, you know multiplication of theta, uh, sorry, multiplication of um, um, the phi value about uh, to L uh, in several terms are considered as a function of L. Okay, so that's just one type of representations. Now, this uh, yt can be represented as uh, the inverse of this term multiplied to uh, the error term. Okay. Now, if this term, okay, this inverse term converges to zero, then we are con we are sure that uh, the AR series or the AR model is uh, is stationary. Okay, and then only you can do estimation. Without being sure that it is stationary, you cannot go in for estimation. Okay, and why it is so important for testing the uh, stationarity? Because otherwise, it uh, we 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 uh, are facing a condition where the lags are having non-declining effect, and that's not an ideal condition for uh, estimation of time series model. Okay, so this has to be met. I I know this is slightly complicated, but this will be easy when we take an example. So if in the next video I'll take couple of AR uh, model and I'll show you how we can test a particular AR model to be stationary or not. So we'll use uh, one type of uh, you know methodology uh, which is known as the characteristic, characteristic equation to be able to find out whether a model is stationary, uh, whether an AR model is stationary or not. Okay, we'll learn a bit about the characteristic equation in this video also. So when we expand this term, this inverse term, okay, um, what do you get? Okay, so we get one minus uh, the lag operator and then the uh, estimate, and then uh, the lag operator, the higher lags will continue till p, right? We are considering here a ARP model, right? AR model with p lags, right? Um, so now uh, this this expression can be uh, should ideally be zero. Okay, for the non-declining uh, effect, it should ideally uh, be zero when we represent in terms of a um, MA model. So, uh, so just to uh, give you uh, some sort of a background, um, AR models can be represented as a MA infinity model. Okay, MA infinity model, where uh, some sort of representation like this can be uh, found. Okay, so MA infinity model um, it's stationary only when this expression is equal to zero. Okay, uh, and uh, the roots of this equation uh, lie outside the unit circle. Okay, so what do you mean by uh, roots of this equation lying out of the unit circle? Well, this is just a definition. Well, it means that uh, when we solve this equation, okay, for a particular AR series, we'll of course have the uh, you know values of theta one, theta two, theta three, and so on. So these are known to us, okay. When we solve this, okay, the value of uh, L, so we are representing L here as Z, so we are just changing it, we are just generalizing it, so. This is the characteristic equation, and z value should be greater than one. If that condition is met, then we're saying that this characteristic equation, the roots of the characteristic equations, lie outside the uh, unit circle, and we are sure that it's a stationary series. Slightly complicated though, uh, difficult to understand, but. Uh, when we take an example, we'll be able to understand it better. So let's wait for the next video where I'll take a couple of more examples 
uh, to understand whether particular or given uh, time uh, air model is stationary or not and only when it is sure that it is a stationary series uh, the um, you know your estimation is uh, can be used in somewhere for forecasting so for more uh, such videos you can subscribe to our channel and you can also go to our website for uh, you know our blogs and uh, uh, other study materials